Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, we're gonna talk about enhancing your video with stock elements. Hope everyone's having a great day today. My name is Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Film. So what is a stock element and how can we use them to enhance our video footage? So a stock element can be anything from say, fog to particles to lens flares, to even light leaks, which we can use to help enhance the feel, the look, and even the experience of our clip. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can enhance your video clip with a handful of stock elements. So to start off, I wanna talk about using volumetric light elements to help increase the mood of your shots. So anytime you're working with a clip that has a nice you know, light source in the background, like this window here, this is an opportunity to throw on some volumetric light. So I have this asset here, which is like a volumetric light asset, which we can overlay onto this clip. And I'll go ahead and drop the link in the video description. This is actually a free asset pack for volumetric light effects. And you get about 16 of these, so that's really cool. So make sure to check out the link in the description if you want to have your own volumetric light pack for free. And what we do here is bring our clip into our timeline and we'll scale this up. And pretty much every asset's like this where you have to bring it in timeline and scale it up. And then you have to go to the blend mode, which is right here. So you toggle switch the modes. And depending on if you're doing this in Adobe Premiere or any other editor, you'll need to go to the blend modes. And usually you can set it to screen, add, and there's a handful of different uh, you know, parameters you can switch this to, but now a little before and after, we're getting a little bit of volumetric light into this shot, and you know, kind of getting this extra haze, which can look good or bad depending on the shot. And of course, there's a few other options here. So sometimes with volumetric light, depending on the shot, you know, hard light can look really good uh, depending on what you're doing. For the shot specifically, probably not. Uh, soft light's a bit interesting. So now here is our enhanced clip of our volumetric light. And to really increase our atmosphere, I want to talk about using fog. Now let's talk about adding fog into our scene. And this is from Cine Punch, which has the 8500 plus elements that you can bring into any project file. And in this pack, you get fog. And this is 8K fog. And we can go ahead and bring this into our timeline. Like, And then, of course, now we just got to composite this correctly. So we'll scale it down. And let's come here and set the blend mode to screen. And obviously, this doesn't look so good. So let's go to Effect Color Correction Curves. And then we can kind of bring this down by a little bit and make that blend in a little bit more and it definitely has a little bit more atmosphere to our shot and makes the scene a little bit more foggy. And to create maybe a cinematic, maybe a warm feel to your footage, I wanna talk about using light leaks. So now let's talk about adding light leaks into our shot and light leaks are great for, you know, maybe transitions for clips, uh, great for making scenes a little bit more warm and vibrant, you know, great for like happy, feel good moods. Light leaks are simply like these flares that just kind of move around really quick and are nice and colorful. And you can bring these on top of our footage and then come here to the blend mode and we can you know, do a handful of different things. So overlay looks great sometimes. Um, of course, screen works as always. And I personally like screen as my favorite blend mode, so I'll keep it as screen. So now for our light leaks added, we have this more warm, vibrant, you know, summer montage feel. So now let's go ahead and create some atmosphere with particles. So let's go ahead and talk about adding particles to a scene to help enhance the atmosphere. And once again, I'm using particles from the Cine Punch Pack, which has nearly over 100 uh, particles within the Cine Punch Pack, which is awesome. I have a couple here inside of After Effects already. And when we have some particles picked out, we can bring it on top of our footage. And now we can see some particles just flying around in here very subtly. What I suggest doing when you're working with particles with footage, go to Effect, uh, Noise and Grain, and just add some noise to it, and then set the noise amount to maybe six, use color noise is good, to kind of help blend that in there. And then of course, depending on your shot, you can also go to Effect, uh, Blur and Sharpen, and add like a camera blur, camera lens blur to be specific. And then, you know, that just kind of help it blend in a little bit better. And now we added just a little bit more particles to the scene, it adds a little bit more atmosphere, to what's going on and it's really up to you how you want to composite these and whether you know you want to use particles or not for your scene which can be a really cool unique option and to wrap up our video i want to talk about using the most popular stock element which is lens flares so let's go ahead and talk about adding lens flares to our shot so lens flares will work great when there is a you know nice light bright source coming from some direction in your frame so our light source is from the right side here and you know it's even better when there's an actual practical in the shot but i don't have one uh ready to go so we'll go ahead and just use this shot and I have this anamorphic lens flare right here. And this asset is from our pack Cine Punch, along with, you know, about a hundred other uh, lens flares in the pack. And I can go ahead and bring this into our timeline. And, you know, once again, composite that, set the blend mode to perhaps add. I think lens flares look great with add. And then, you know, kind of get this on when we need it on. And, what, and sometimes with lens flares, you need to, like, rotate things. So we'll come here to layer, transform, and you can do flip vertical, flip horizontal, depending on what you need. And then, 
you know, we can kind of just get this into place, which would be great right here. And here's our lens flares, obviously really intense. So we, what we can do is hit here on keyboard for opacity and just lower the opacity by a little bit. So it's not overpowering, it's nice and subtle. And it's all about compositing a nice lens flare to help enhance your clip or to enhance the mood. You have to just really be strategic with how you use lens flares because they can be a very powerful you know, stock element to help enhance your footage and make it look better than what it is. And with good stock elements, you don't have to usually do a lot of work. Most of the time, it's just lowering the opacity and changing the blend mode. And of course, just about all these elements we use in this video are from Cine Punch, which has 8,500 elements consisting mostly of stock, you know, like lens flares, particles, light leaks, fractals, fog, and so much more. And if you really want to have an awesome arsenal of stock elements, I highly suggest you check out Cine Punch. That link is in the video description. And you can check out how you can enhance your work within a matter of minutes and get work done way more efficiently. There's also like over 1,000 transitions for Adobe Premiere, 2,300 plus sound effects. There's LUTs, tons of glitch effects, film grain effects, and tons of other stylized effects that we didn't show in this video. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check our links in the video description. So there's a handful of ways that you can increase the value of your shot in post-production using stock elements. So I hope you enjoyed this post-production video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.